So I got something in the mail today. Uh, I want to show you what I got. It is the Lyman Mag 25 uh, melting pot. I sold one of my spare Lee pots, saved up a little bit of money and, and picked up this. And uh, so I wanted to test it out, see how good it is. I know it's made in China. Um, I've heard good things and bad things about it. So I was going to unbox. I don't know if you can tell, but it is hot out here. I think it's like 95. Yeah, it's hot in the air and it's hot over working with this uh, melted lead. So. Okay, so here's the pot right here. It came with that power cord, um, the pouring handle. You got to see how to attach that. And that's that's it. Well, and the instruction manual. That's it. So. <laughs> Power cord, that's the easy thing. So I just put the handle on. One of the things that uh, uh, people were complaining about on uh, like Amazon reviews and Midway and whatever is that their pot looked like it had been used before and of course of course it's been used before uh, they I think they heat up a certain amount of lead and melt it um, before they to test that it works before they ship it so you can see the little um, lead stuff in the bottom and uh, yeah that doesn't bother me uh, so it looks like this thing is a, a mold uh, heater uh, that I will reserve judgment until I test it but that looks kind of uh what would you say just i don't know chintzy or i doubt it works as good as the hot plate but uh like i said i'll reserve judgment until i test it out so this one uh the the lyman mag 25 it does have the uh the PID for setting your temperature, your casting temperature, um, and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw some lead in here and get uh, this one melting. Uh, this, I guess, is the the mold guide, and that looks like it sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, this... Uh, I don't know about that. Um, I don't even know if I have a mold that will fit in that. Uh, hang on a second. This is what it looks like when you try and use an NOE bullet mold on this guide. You can see it, it just won't fit in that groove that they have. I, I bet they probably made it just uh, for wide enough for Lyman molds, which is kind of stupid. But uh, let me go grab a Lee mold and see if that works. All right, this is what happens when you try and use a... a a Lee two cavity mold in this mold guide. So you can kind of push it forward and then it stops right in between the two, well the spout stops right in between the two holes. So then you'd have to probably rock this and then push that forward in order to use that. So that mold guide kind of sucks for the two cavity mold. Hang on, I don't know. we'll try a, Six cavity Lee. Okay, so I got my Lee six cavity mold. Let's see how that fits in there. <laughs> so it won't even fit a Lee six cavity mold on this mold guide. Um, let's try an accurate mold. Okay, so here I got my uh, one of my accurate molds. See how that fits. <laughs> Same thing. It's uh, the accurate mold is too wide for the guide, so that is pretty uh, not functional for me. Um, if it won't take accurate molds, NOE molds, uh, Lee two cavities or Lee six cavities, um, 
I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, I'm probably going to need to design a new one and then see if NOE will uh, cut it and uh, produce it or something. Um, yeah, so mold guide on this pot totally sucks. All right, time to plug it in and let's check this thing out, see if it turns on. All right, here is where you can set the uh, the temperature. You can go up or down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set it at like 780. And let's throw some lead in. So in this pot, I'm gonna throw in probably uh, try I got some really pure stuff. I think it was a boat weight or something. Um, I'll throw maybe four parts pure and one part of my hard alloy, which is the, uh, I think it's a mix of foundry and uh, monotype. So I got four pounds of uh, the uh, pure stuff. Throw one pound of the hard stuff, and then I'll throw another pound of hard stuff, and then another four pounds of soft stuff. And now you can see that smoke coming off. That's uh, uh, it looks like they sprayed the the pot with oil after they tested it after they tested it out um, to prevent rust and stuff. So that's the oil burning off that you can see. All right, if I'm going to do some casting with this pot, I'm going to have to remove this mold guide. It's, I think it'll just get in the way. Okay, so here's what I came up with uh, for my mold guide, my temporary mold guide. I ripped the other one out. Um, and so I stacked two of the four pound NOE uh, ingots and then just put that on top and uh, that'll be my mold guide for just for tonight for testing um, not much of a guide but uh, uh, it's better than what is on there right now okay so I'm ready to cast with my uh, new 45 mold it's the NOE 453 196 uh, SW for semi-wad cutter it's uh, about like a 200 grain semi-wad cutter bullet for the 45 ACP. Uh, I'll be probably testing it out in my 45 Colt also. So, anyway, it's gonna cast a pile of bullets with that tonight with my Lyman pot. So I'm uh, done casting uh, with that 45 mold. Um, here's the the uh, pile of bullets I got. So the lighting isn't super great in my garage because it's nighttime right now, but uh, there's a lot of good bullets in here. <laughs> 